Hello everyone, I'm Jonah, the freelancer. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have for you guys a quick video, a quick fix for Logic Pro 10. Uh, I've had this issue for a while where when I open Logic Pro, it will just have to process all the plugins every single time I open it. That's actually one of the reasons I didn't use it too much. Uh, but here's a fix. Uh, I'm going to show you guys if you guys are having this issue. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get started. Uh, first thing is you're going to go to your finder window. Uh, as you can see on this one, I have uh, one tab with a components folder completely empty. And this one, as you can see, has all the plugins on each one for uh, your component and your VST. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Uh, stay in your finder window and you're going to hit that option key, which is going to show you this library folder which is a different library folder than the one you usually have access to uh, you're going to hit audio plugins and you're going to have all your folders there uh, open another tab and you're going to go to the drive where you host your operating system uh, for me it's going to be this drive right here uh, same thing hit applications audio and then you're going to hit your uh, yeah plugin folder and again your component folder as you can see has all the plugins in there uh, meanwhile this one is completely empty so that's the reason you're having that that error um, so all you do is select all and then paste them into that folder I read somewhere there was an issue with that uh, the the system put uh, logic pro in some kind of loop um, that's why I was having this issue. Uh, I'm running OS X El Capitan on a Mac Pro, 2008 Mac Pro. So I can't go any higher than that. I am not sure if Apple has fixes on later releases. But if you're running even later releases and you still have this issue, uh, don't hesitate to do this. Uh, same thing with VST. Go ahead and select them all. And paste them into that VST folder. I'm going to speed this one up. Okay, so once that's done uh, and you have all your files in place, go ahead and open it, your copy of Logic Pro X. Now, I try this in two separate systems. I try this in my laptop, or I, I did this in my laptop as well as I just did it on, on this desktop. Uh, and on my laptop, it reprocessed all the plugins, and then what, next time I open Logic Pro X, it didn't do it anymore. It didn't have to reprocess all of them. Uh, but for this computer, it didn't do that. It just opened them. Um, so there might be some variance there on, on operating system. So. I don't know again if uh, Apple fixes on later releases or not. So, uh, but here it is. Uh, let me know, guys, if it worked for you. If it didn't, uh, always looking for some feedback. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you once again for stopping by. So, happy mixing.